I am here today to talk to you about the next two assignments you have coming up, which are the feasibility report and the proposal assignment. And um, these two reports, or actually they're memos, these are two memos, and they're related to each other. Uh, first, you'll be doing a feasibility report, and then you will be doing a proposal assignment. And I just want to talk about the scope of these two reports, or this unit, and um, what each assignment entails. Basically, you're finding a solution to a problem um, or an issue at hand. And then you are putting together a plan to implement this solution, and that is your proposal assignment. So I want you to think about what's bothering you right now. Is there a problem that you would like to find a solution for? Um, what your, your proposal assignment is meant to persuade someone to take action. Um, and then is this solution or is this proposal, is it feasible? That's what, you're, that's what we're figuring out. So to do this, we're writing two memos. And the first one is the feasibility report. So this is a short one-page memo determining the feasibility of a solution or a plan of action. It's basically justification for your idea. And then the proposal assignment, which is also your midterm. That's why you'll see it referred to as the midterm proposal sometimes because it's 200 points. You do have a midterm test. We'll talk about that later. This assignment, the midterm proposal, um, is also considered a midterm. So the proposal assignment is three to five pages, and it's a report persuading an audience to uh, solve a problem or even just to do something, do it, like a call to action, basically. And it offers a very solid, feasible, researched solution to an issue at hand. Um, and when I say solution, it doesn't necessarily need to be um, a fix. It could just be a plan to make something better. Uh, so let's talk about these two assignments individually. So the feasibility report will clearly state your problem and solution. Uh, your job is to, with the feasibility report, is to prove that your idea is feasible that your um, proposed action plan will work. Um, so it's basically justification for your solution or your action plan. So you don't necessarily have to do research. That's not required for your feasibility report, but you might want to. You need to be proving with the feasibility report why the solution is the best out of all the other options out there. So you may want to do some research to figure out what the other options are. Um, what are the limitations? How much money is it going to cost? You know, what are the limitations? If you had a critic that was questioning your idea, what would this critic be saying? What types of questions would people ask about this? That's what I want you to bring up. You don't necessarily need to answer those questions right now, but you do need to bring them up. This is a good place to maybe have a bullet list of limitations. Some of the things to think about are the timeline, again, budget, money, how much money is this going to cost, resources, uh, do you need to hire personnel, do you, if you're putting together something for um, a business. So the proposal assignment is sort of the um, follow-up to your feasibility report. So first you'll do the feasibility report and turn that in. And then you'll start working on your proposal assignment. And the proposal assignment will also clearly state the problem and solution, although most of the time you won't need to justify it necessarily like you do with the feasibility report because the proposal assignment is basically already assuming that your proposal is needed and it's the best solution. Um, so you don't need to talk about any other solutions, but you do need to talk about the limitations within your solution. So that list that I was just referring to in your feasibility report, this is where you talk about how those things will be dealt with. How are your limitations going to be figured out? Um, 
basically the proposal assignment is a detailed plan of action. So you're implementing some sort of plan. Um, for this assignment, you will need one outside source. Your outside source really depends on what your plan is, but you also need a visual. So the visual could also be an outside source, if that makes sense. Um, so a visual just basically it's a graphic, a chart, a picture, a photograph, um, an image. Uh, just make sure that it's relevant and make sure that you integrate your visuals so you're not just plopping a photo into your report to because you don't have another source or because you need a visual charts or graphics tables for like a budget or something those all count as visuals and they're all ways of um, listing information that is easy for your reader to navigate and digest um, so again, talk about how your visual is relevant. Why ask yourself, why am I using this visual? Is it, does it help explain something to my reader? Make sure that you read all of the notes, all of the associated assignment material, like the notes, which explain details of, of the assignment, um, the assignment sheets. So there will be two assignment sheets for this feasibility report assignment sheet and the proposal assignment sheet. Um, the assignment sheets have all the assignment requirements and the grading rubric. So not only do they tell you what you need in your assignment, but they will tell you how you will be getting graded. Um, and then I have some outlines for you too, which will just show you the basic format of the assignments. And that's it. That is all that I have. Um, please email me if you have any questions. And uh, I hope you guys have a great week. Bye.